three different colors. They're absolutely gorgeous, and if nestled into anything, it could be in a garden, it could be on a deck, a patio. Drew's even opened one up yeah. to model it for you. I'm you can sorry, see? I am laughing because my producer is going crazy saying, you could put beer in that thing? He's like <laughs> ordering all three colors. Yes. He thinks that's the greatest I'm surprised idea I opened this up and there was not beer in it. I was expecting <laughs> that for us. But look at this. You can have this as a nice planter. We already, already have an yes. example. But right. they're substantial enough mm -hmm. that I can put the lid on there and it's actually seating. Yeah. So when you, the important thing, when you have an outdoor space, so many people complain that you don't have enough seating space for right. guests to come over. Exactly. We want to show you that these take a lot of weight. Right. And you can actually use it for seating or for entertainment. So portable yet sturdy, and I love the hourglass shape. Why did you guys do it like that? Sometimes when you get something that's a real uh, cylinder shape, it's mm -hmm. just very, very bulky. It takes yeah. up more room than it needs to. Right. This is a lot more comfortable, even just with your legs sort of dang dangling next to it. Mm -hmm. It's much more comfortable on the thighs yeah. and, and the calves, and then also takes up less space, so it's a little more sophisticated in the design. So and look how light it is, too. It, it's yeah. heavy enough that it's not going to blow over they're, if you have it as a planter. They're 26 pounds. 26 right. pounds, okay. but I can lift this nice and easy with one hand. Right. I think that's important, too. You want to make sure that it's not something that's so heavy you that you can't just come in and move it around. So each one is 16 inches wide, 16 inches deep, 18 inches high, just so you know. And these again are made of that poly resin stone fiberglass mix, which looks like stone, but is much more durable. And then also they've got that wonderful sort of hand painted look to them. So they, they like the paint brushes sort of run down exactly. the, the sides. So they're all going to look unique. Yeah. from each other, so you'll have one unlike anyone else's. And if you noticed a similar ombre effect on perhaps some torches that you yes. may have already purchased, yes. again, we you can tie, tie this all into the rest of the design in your garden. So we have three. Let me point out which is which. So next to Drew is the one we're calling, uh, I believe, teal and olive. Is that and right? And look how it no, matches olive my gray. shoes. Sorry. Olive and gray. Olive and gray right there. You can wear matching shoes with it. Te <laughs> teal and olive That's in right. the center. So that kind of works with those tiki torches that are almost sold out. Mm -hmm. And then we have blue and gray, and that's the most popular color. And the blue, blue and gray, gray actually mm -hmm. also goes in beautifully with the tiki, uh, the torches that are almost sold out. Right, right. Yeah, you can mix and match. Again, mm -hmm. you don't have to ever have everything exactly matching. These go with the fountain as Let, well beautifully. Let's go up here because I just want to show our producer, Frank, that I wasn't making it up. <laughs> um, you can actually use this. This was, the main, this was the main reason I looked for the multi-purpose function of this, right. was that if you don't want to use it as a planter, you don't want to use it as a stool, fill it up with ice, and look how much it accommodates. If you have the patio set out there, you don't have to run inside, you've got a cooler like ready it. to go. Anybody? So which, which one of you sits next to the cooler, and which one of you is like the grill master? I, well, I well control my dad's the, the cooler. The, my dad's yeah. the grill master, that's for sure. Okay. You, know, that you don't want to touch another man's grill. Uh -huh. But uh, the, the, the cool thing with this is, even if you have a very small balcony, you yeah. can see it's nice and small, and it's accommodating, and it's easy just to slide it right. right next to the furniture that you already mm -hmm. have. You can also use it for storage, I mean, because you can hide stuff in there. Uh, you know, if you've got, is, you know, stuff laying around or uh, if somebody actually has, you know, little coasters or stuff. Exactly. Like, you know, well, tables. that's what I like. Even, even on a small patio, yeah. this can be your center table. And, you mm -hmm. know, if you if you feel you don't have enough size for a bigger table, this mm -hmm. can be your table. You can put your coasters and everything inside to protect it from the elements. Right. And even like in the it. garden, if you're using it as a garden stool, you mm -hmm. can keep your gardening gloves in there. Stuff. You can keep your tools in there. There's mm -hmm. tons of storage. It's, it's actually, it's an illusion. Some people know I'm a magician. It's an illusion uh -huh. how much space there is inside this. It's fantastic. They're all beautiful. And again, and they have that hand painted, it, like you just went to a pottery place, you know, and somebody did this by hand and they had You just, just want like me to sing that kind. song again, right? Did you? Oh, oh, no, we won't go there. Again. <laughs> I'm right. supposed to do it from over right, here. here we go. My darling. Oh, that's right. Not Wait, supposed to be like. You, you need to have this in front of you. <laughs> yeah, you need the beer in front of you. <laughs> yeah. Okay, then he'll do it. Jackpot. <laughs> Yeah. It's great, and again, okay. it, it, it's our <laughs> multifunction, multi-purpose aesthetics. Mm -hmm. It looks great, and it functions. So these look great. Uh, we're going to take a look at the choices again, so that they they're not confusing. Uh, on the end with a green tone to it, sort of melding into a lighter blue. Uh, that one is the um, that's our gray, uh, <laughs> olive and gray. Okay, then in the middle teal and olive so that is definitely more of a sort of turquoisey blue green a little more bold yeah and then over here is the one that's mainly blue we're calling it blue gray but that's also almost like a slate color exactly it is. it's very it's very elegant I, I mean i love all of these they feel 
very modern, they feel very fresh, and mm -hmm. they bring character to an outdoor space. It's important not to have everything the same color right. or everything just tan. You want to make sure you mix it up a bit. Bring in the earth tones and the tans, that's beautiful, mm -hmm. but then pop some color. Yeah, right. what is it we always say to people? Pop some color. Pop this is how you're going to pop some color without being afraid. Some people are afraid that they don't know how to design. You don't have to know how to design. You can put this into your space, and all of these colors, they blend in with everything. And if you use these and have beer in it, you can pop.